Nutrition support is a method of feeding someone who cannot obtain enough nutrients from food to prevent significant unintentional weight loss, and it includes enteral nutrition and parenteral nutrition. Enteral nutrition is more like eating because it uses the gastrointestinal tract. Parenteral nutrition is intravenous nutrition. It uses the veins. When it comes to deciding if a patient will benefit from nutrition support, we ask, can the patient eat enough by mouth? If the answer is a resounding yes, then the patient continues to eat and does not need nutrition support. If the answer is a resounding no, then we ask, Can the GI tract be used? A yes to this question leads us to consider enteral nutrition, and a no leads us to consider parenteral nutrition. But what if the answer is maybe? In this case, we ask, does the patient meet any of the three criteria for poor nutritional status? Those criteria were physical assessment, unintentional weight loss, and estimated calorie intake which we may also see as inadequate oral intake or an anticipated inadequate oral intake for 7 to 14 days. If the patient does not meet any of the criteria, then the patient continues to eat and does not need nutrition support. If the patient satisfies one, two, or all three criteria, then we can consider nutrition support. When deciding if a patient should receive enteral nutrition or parenteral nutrition, we must always remember, if the gut works, use it. If the gastrointestinal tract can safely receive nutrients, absorb nutrients, and eliminate waste, we will want to give enteral nutrition. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.